veces acuérdate y ni To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within Today and not tomorrow There's no time to This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Tomorrow there's no time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today is a good day to Stole it 
Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is moving right along. It just keeps going, doesn't it? No matter what, the sun still keeps rising, the house gets brighter, and you know you just gotta get up and get moving. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. I think like if you lived in Alaska where it stayed dark for a long period of time, you might go, okay, I can stay in bed longer. <laughs> that would take a lot of self-discipline, I would think. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you're having a good Monday today. So we had a good weekend. You saw the video of the weekend. It's been a busy weekend. And so I went last night and just had a good night's sleep. I woke up this morning and I'm like, I don't even want to go swimming this morning. I feel like I'm waterlogged a little bit. So I did not go in the pool and just got up and had some coffee and then like started my day today. I'm like, sometimes it's good to have routines and things kind of schedules somewhat to a degree because like if you feel like kind of just like, tired from the weekend, especially Monday mornings, probably helpful. It's um, nice to be able to go, okay, this is what I got to do. I know I just got to do this and I got to get this much done and then I'll be able to rest or then I'll be able to, you know, whatever. So then it ensures that your house is somewhat picked up. You know, it's okay if I didn't clean my windows today or if I don't do extra things, but you know, having the dishes cleaned is always a good thing. Having food for the family is always a good thing. So just get moving, get the ball like momentum. Momentum going is a good thing. If you're struggling with something today, you know what, just go, okay. I just gotta do a few things. Let me just get up and do one thing. Let me do one thing. Let me get one thing done. Might be washing the dishes. Yay, I washed all the dishes. You'll feel so satisfied after washing all those dishes. You'll be tired, but you get them done. And then maybe put them away. You know, or make me whatever whatever kind of motivation you need in your days. I know for myself today, I was like I said, I was a little tired and I'm like, ah, I just gotta get going. <laughs> just got ah, sigh, sigh, but I just gotta do it. I gotta get this floor with no beach sand down. I gotta just get the laundry rolling, just get up and get moving. So we're gonna have a great day today. Are you ready for a great day? And <laughs> Oh, Maxine, she's going to let me let her out. Those squirrels are out there, so you know she's going after it. So I have some encouragement for you today, and this comes from Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, or let us rejoice, and be glad in it. Either way, but it's rejoicing. Be glad in it. Guess what? Life is a gift. Life is a gift that, like from some people, is just gone too early or too soon. It is a gift. We have opportunities in this life. We have opportunities to make a difference in this life, to be a light to those around us. So don't like despise the days. I know munges are tired. I know I get you. I'm tired too. But I know that, you know what? I've got something to do. I think that today was a day that I could have just like wanted to sleep in today and just like, just stayed in bed and just rested for the whole day because of my long weekend. But I'm like, you know what? I've got a plan and a purpose. God has a plan and a purpose for me today. So I've got to get up and I've got to let my light shine and get those things accomplished that he wants me to get accomplished for the day. When you look at life that way, it, you can be able to look for those opportunities and go that, you know what? Look at every opportunity and go, okay, God, where are you in this? Where are you in this? What do you want me to do in this situation? Because he will bring you a whole bunch of opportunities, show you a bunch of things. Maybe you need to see his goodness in something. Maybe you need to see him, you know, moving and doing something in your life. Ask him them and then be open to seeing things be open to seeing things wrong with you i know that's always the best you can always see the wrong in everybody else right that's very easy <laughs> you can see the wrong in your coworker. you can see the wrong in your kids you can see the wrong in your your family members oh yeah you can see everything wrong but ask god to start revealing to you what it is you need to change in your life like what is it with me god that i need to change so that I can see clearly. I don't want to be blinded by things. I know, that's a tough one. Me, work on me, work on you. I'll work on me, you work on you. <laughs> that's a good thing. And then he'll bring you a whole lot of opportunities and you'll go, okay, I can see God in that. I see you in that. Thank him for those things. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Remember, it's a gift. It's all about finding joy in the journey and enjoying your life, enjoying the everyday. It might not look good. People might not understand. They'll tell you you're wrong. They'll tell you you shouldn't do this. You should do this. You should stay here. You shouldn't move there. You should do, haven't, shouldn't have kids. You should have kids. You should not work there. You should work here. You shouldn't buy this. You shouldn't, do, you shouldn't eat this. You shouldn't eat that. You should do more exercise. Everybody has an opinion. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Just look on social media. Everybody has an opinion about everything. So you know what? You do what God wants you to do and just enjoy the journey. 
enjoy it and just be a light to those around you. It's a beautiful thing. Are you ready for a good day? All right, let's let, is Maxine out there? She's out there. She's like, I'm gonna enjoy my sunshine for a little bit. <laughs> but just make sure you let me in. So let's get moving with our day, get a whole lot done. Are you ready? All right, let's go. So for breakfast today, I was gonna make an egg with avocado, but I'm like, I did not eat any of my curry that I made at all. I had such delicious food. You see, sometimes it's like, you don't have anything. I mean, you have stuff, but you don't like have what you want all the time. So I'm always like, hmm. I always think about making it, but then uh, I never do. So this year I was like, oh, I'm gonna make it. So I've got it, well then I never even ate it. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to have some curry. So I think I'm just gonna scoop out some curry here. I mean, don't worry, I will eat it here in the next few days. And have this for breakfast. I'm gonna put a little bit of these rice noodles and then I'm gonna take my sweet potato, put it in there. I know it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be a delicious breakfast. I just need some food. That was so good. So, so good. Glad I had that. Ate it. Gives Maxine some sweet potatoes. She's like, I'm just going to follow you everywhere you go, John Chu. Follow me everywhere I go. <laughs> Let's flip this load of laundry. One of Maxine's favorite things to do, one of her favorite things to do is to lay in the, the, the towels. She loves warm laundry. You have it, go set it somewhere. She's gonna go find her. You're gonna go lay in this, aren't you? If I go drop, she's like sniffing it, like, let me lay in here. You love your warm towels. She is a warm snuggle. <laughs> she's like, can I lay on top of it? I know you want to. <laughs> she likes her warm laundry. What she's doing? Maxie. <laughs> she's like, let me have a towel, mommy. I'll take one living room for her. <laughs> Safe look at it. She's like, I'll just sit right here on the floor. I'll lay in one towel. That's all I need. I just need some warm. <laughs> just go sit outside. It's like 100 degrees. <laughs> Maxine. Dogs are funny, I think. Okay, I'm going to bleach this. I wonder if I just put this in my bed if she'll lay in it. Do you want this? <laughs> you can lay it here? No. She likes the towels. Bathroom, this is the other job of like, huh, eh, don't wanna do it, but let's just get it done. Mostly a bunch of towels on the ground, wipe everything down, you know, all the good things. Put my sermon on because I'm listening to that. It's very encouraging. Watch 
sun would always shine when we sat there, you and I. Okay, getting all the chores done in the household. So the laundry here, something, um, sometimes when you put something in here bulky, just like every wash and dryer, you know how it like won't spin all the way out and then you go to open it up and it's full of water and you're like, why? It shouldn't do that. These are supposed to not do this. Just to sense it. Or are they supposed to, you know what? I'm not sure. My top loader one, it would sense it and balance it out. It would fill up with water and then would let it, you know, so it could balance. Sometimes it didn't work so good. But what I've discovered, what I have discovered on here, and it was only by looking through the menu, if you ever have that issue. Can I do this when it's off? I think I can. Um, I'm just unstick. Turn on your rinse and spin. Sometimes you don't need to rinse it because it's already done that and you just click. Actually, hold on. That didn't work. Okay, there it is. When you turn on the rinse and spin cycle, it'll say extra rinse right here. If you just click this, it shuts off and just spins it. So sometimes that's a neat thing. I just did it. It let it spin for a little bit, so I have to, uh, I just shut it off because it was like spinning for 10 minutes and I only needed about five minutes worth of spinning. So I need this to get in here and get out water. I had this in and then I had this in. So it just got, it was just a little bit out of whack. So we're gonna throw those in there. We can do the next load, the more times. Okay, getting laundry done. Kids doing their chores. We're gonna get our school out and get that accomplished. I'm thinking about dinner. I have no idea. I'll do the curry. I'm just thinking, what does everybody else want? So we're at that dilemma, but there's lots of leftovers, so we'll be having enough stuff for, for breakfast. We have waffles, there is yogurt and strawberries, and then there's toast if they want to make eggs, there's cereal, and then um I'll see what we got going for lunch. I know there's chicken salad in there. So I don't really have to make anything just yet. And there's still like yummy snacks from the weekend. So I think we'll just have an easier food thing and then I'll make something for dinner for everybody else. School done. And so what? this is the caramel macchiato from Starbucks. I just put pumpkin spice flavor in it. it tastes like pumpkin spice. Who would have thought? It's good. So we're getting our stuff done. Okay, so my day is going a little bit, I feel like it's going like slow. I don't know, like where's the day going? It's already 12, 15. Um, getting chores and stuff done around the house. And then um, we just had to get Maxine a bath because she went outside and I don't know if she rolls in dead lizards or what, but she gets like, Ruby used to lay, like, it sounds bad, but like, I don't know if it's, it must be deer poop or some kind of animal poop in the yard, right? So dogs would like rub their scent in it. I know, it's disgusting, it's gross. So she come back and she smells so horrible, ooh. Well, Maxine does it here, and I'm like, what would you be rolling? It's not her poop, obviously, but I think it's a dead lizard. Ugh, I know, I know, gross. Because she, like, you know, she's a dog, so she'll kill it, I think, she, but she doesn't, like, eat it or anything, so I know. Disgusting. Anyways, too much information. Okay, <laughs> so we had to get her best. We got her a bath. Um, Brooklyn's um, vacuuming upstairs, cleaned the girls' bathroom, met him up floors and Autumn gel put all the dishes away. We had a bunch of jars in here to kind of wash. And then um, I got our school done. We were reading and doing our test like review. So then I'm thinking, I was thinking about dinner. I'm like, what do I even make for dinner? Cause we have, um, I have the curry, Brooklyn, myself and Maddie love it. And we're gonna eat that. So then I'm like, so I asked Autumn, I'm like, what do you guys want for dinner? It's gonna be you, the boys and dad. I'm like, what do you guys want for dinner? And so she's like, what's my options? I'm like, I don't know, something simple, what is it? And I said, what about spaghetti? And she said, spaghetti is good. So I'm gonna make spaghetti. So I'm gonna do this hamburger that I got at the, um, the Detlar, so yummy. I, I'm gonna be definitely watching their sales when they have it again and get more because I have seen it on there before. And um, like when I drove by one time, I was like, oh, that's a deal. So that's good. Okay, so let me put this in here. So I'm gonna cook this. So I've got my meat. I'm just gonna put a lid on it. I'll put a little bit of water. I've got a pot right here. I filled up with water. That's me, my pasta. I think I'm just gonna cook it all, put it all together, make it easy. Should I put it in a crock pot? because it's way early. Let's put it in the crock pot. Let's make life easy today. Put it in the crock pot on low. Yeah, let's do that because you know what? I feel like Monday, Monday recovery day is a good day to go sit in the pool because I feel like you need that kind of recovering. So <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Let me just cook this. It'll be good. Okay, one of the jobs um, to do is, kids are doing other stuff inside. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go outside and hose off. I wanna hose off our coolers, let them sit outside. Oh, it's a black cord. I'm like, is that a snake? 
sorry, it's not, it's extension cord. Anyways, and so just blow, um, rinse out the stuff. My little cushion's got bird poop on it because some bird pooped on my cushion and I rinse that. Rinse our beach stuff out. Get our, you know, shells all cleaned up. So I'm gonna do that right now. Why, it's a little bit cloudy out here. I picked up the bag of shells and they dumped all inside that blue bag. So I'm rinsing them off in there. I'll take a towel and put them on there that way. And then I've got our our mattress cover over here drying and I just need to rinse off a few more things and we'll be good to go. I should have rinsed it towards the grass, not right here in the middle because I'm gonna have to rinse all that off so it goes into the grass, not sand in the pool. And you walk in the house and you're like, what does it smell? Oh, the hamburger you're cooking is burning. Good job. Makes seems like, don't leave me. Okay, so remember how I was trying to take a shark tooth, honey, and scooping through the sand, it was just like really impossible to do it. Let me get you up here. It's a nice pile, so I got a lot of the things, so I'm gonna have to definitely have to rinse some of these again. Let me get a little strainer. So we got, we got a couple big shark teeth and some shells. Okay, so we did good. So we got all these little ones right here. So I'll put these all in our little sharpie. We got some different kind of ones here. I don't, I don't think this is, but it looks like it's broken off of something. I don't know, and then I found this. I don't know if this is sea glass or not. I don't really know. Someone told me to look for sea glass because it's rare. I'm assuming it is, but I don't know these things. So let me know if that's sea glass. And then lots of little ones, obviously. That's our new ones. So I'm gonna get up my shell things. I'll get up my containers here. I'm gonna stir my food and then put our shells in there. So I've got our little vial here for shark teeth. I'm like, where are we gonna be full on this? We're gonna have to get a bigger container for this. And then I'd like to put the um, sea glass somewhere different. That's not even gonna fit in there. I think we max our shark tooth collection. Let's see. Let's see if I just mush them around a little bit. Shaking them down. Okay, our shark tooth is full. So we have all of our shark teething are going to have to find a different spot for them. Okay, let me, uh, I guess I'll put, I can put them in my little sand thing in our table. Okay, my noodles will be done here in just a minute, so I'm going to get the crock pot out. So I can just put everything in there. I feel like that's going to be a very easy, easy, Let's put the laundry that goes from the towels down today because they were full. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. It's gonna fill me this way just to make sure it doesn't touch the hot burner. Um, hamburger, what I put in here is, I was gonna just do this real quick, but I'm like, let me tell you. I put some onion in here, minced onion, I put some garlic, and I put some Italian seasoning. That's it. We're gonna make quick spaghetti sauce. So these are diced tomatoes. I might just add one now that I'm looking at it. Usually I do two, but I'm making a smaller batch. So this with the tomato, this is all tomato paste. So I'm just gonna do this with some water to make it a little bit um, thinner and then I'll add like a little bit of sugar if needed, a little bit of um, salt if needed, because I don't know if this has salt, let me see. It should say salt free. No, it doesn't have it, it just has the pulp. Let me see here. Let me scoop this and go like this, ready? This way. We all know these hacks, right? I just watched it on the oh. Watch that video to do that right, and you just push it through. But isn't that funny? Because oh. okay, she's like, you, you get all the sauce, but I feel like you still miss some sauce. Okay, you could have just used your scooper. It's all good. Okay, let's stir this up here. Okay, Maddie came and made her lunch and yesterday, yesterday we made chicken salad for everybody for like the beach because everybody loves it. It's simple and easy. And then I was eating those little, um, what are those called? The naan bread with hummus and pico and like endive lettuce and cucumbers. And Maddie's like, ooh, that looks good. And I'm like, really? I said, that looks good. So I'm like, do you want to bite? And she took a bite and then she's like, wow, that's really good. I'm like, really? Are you being kind or you like it? And she's like, I like it. So what did she want today for lunch? Her own right here. So a little different version is adding some kind of dressing on top Does or something. Look the best, but no, it looks beautiful. It was um because yesterday it was kind of like the lettuce stuff is kind of choppy. I'm going for sprouts, but I didn't have any. So we did the Frank's red hot sauce, the chili sauce. I think that looks delicious. Thank you. So she made a good yummy. So look at this. I need to add more food. Look at that. Oh yeah, we got other food in there. We got some alina crackers. We got yummy food. I'm gonna add the sauce into here. She's got a delicious dinner. Yeah, she just put too much because she wants one from her mom. That's all. I bet you these are just pretzel flat with ranch powder. Yeah. They gotta be. Okay, this is really good. I'm gonna put a lid on this, put it on warm. Okay, the request was garlic bread, which we have, and um, green beans, canned green beans. So those will be for dinner tonight. So I will just leave this right here. There we go. We should light up over here. And then I'm gonna wash these dishes. I could put everything in this dishwasher, but I'd rather it's, um, my day is like not being too crazy, so I'd rather just have this empty for dinner tonight. So what else do I have to do today? I do have a few things I want to do, like stuff that I'll share this week. It's one of those things where I'll accumulate a list and then I'll be like, okay, let's take up care of all those jobs, but I don't really have anything pressing. Something I want to do is plant these. So it says it smells too much like onions. <laughs> like boys' body odor. <laughs> you know boys when they don't wear deodorant, I know. So I'm gonna go put this, let's go outside and plant these. I'm thinking in the, um, the ones where we put our tomatoes, I'm hopeful for, let's go outside. Okay, so in this pot, someone told me today, put this in full sun and lots of water. I don't put it in the full sun because I feel like it's getting too hot. So I, it's like one of those things, it's easy. You get those conflicting things. People saying, oh, you're melting your plants. Oh, you're overwatering your plants. I know, I'm just listening to lots of different opinions. I just don't know, but we took it out because I feel like they're getting a little bit burnt, but we'll see. These are pretty, pretty, plenty hot. So I'm just gonna take these and just stick it in the soil. That's what I did for my cucumber, is I just put it like around the cucumber and then they grew up. But I feel like the ones around the cucumber have stopped making, I've, I've caught from them a few times. So my thought is how much more do they grow? You know what I mean? Like how many how many cuts do they sit forever? Am I gonna keep getting it? I don't, I'm not getting any more from there. It seems like they kind of stopped. So I just don't know. So I'm gonna put, I'll just, I think this one, I'll just go over here. We'll just cover around this one because I use green onions now that I've 
caught these. It's one of those things like onions. I like having green onions. It's one of those things that I always forget. And then you know they're always getting slimy in your refrigerator. So having them outside is nice. Because then you can just cut them. So I do like having them out here. And they seem to do good on the other one. I've cut it a bunch of times. So I'll just put this all the way around. And we'll just keep, kind of keep putting around here. Because they don't, it's not like it's, it gets tons of root because it's just like a little bit. So I'll put all these in here is what I'll do. I have another big pot, but I think I'll save that for like if these ever stop. Okay, there we go. We got some onions in there. Oh, there's like three more. Hold on, we got a few more. I could use like a whole nother bag of dirt in here, I feel like. We might just have to get some more. So breezy. Probably too windy for you guys. Get those. I'll water it later. I watered this morning in the early morning hours. That's good. But I think it's doing good. I'm sure I could cut off a few branches on here. They say that makes it stronger. Let me go get my let me go get my scissors. This one looks a whole lot better. The other one it got bent over in a storm. And so um I'm gonna cut the branches off, right? You said to cut the branches off. Just let it they said like one. So I feel like it should be just one of these, but I feel like if I go and start doing that, it's going to be bad. <laughs> like, I'm not going to have much of a plant left. Let's see. Let's cut that one off and just let it keep going up, right? That's not a test, it's just an arm. Okay, we're going to let them keep going. Somebody's cringing saying, don't do all that, Amy. Just listening to my viewers. Let's see. Is that gonna be good? Like that one should be cut too, right? <laughs> see, then I'm like, there's no leaves left. So I'm like, am I killing it? What am I doing? I'll leave that one there. Okay, so let's let's go look at the other one. So this one, I'm like, if it grows, it'll be amazing because right here, you see the band-aid on it? it? Shows I gave it good care. It got. I'm sure. It's it, um, I bought them and set them outside here and it was like ridiculous wind. And, oh look at it, it did grow really good. Look at that, see it's healed up. Ridiculous wind and it knocked it over and it broke and I was like, oh my goodness, I just bought it. It happened to my cucumbers, I had two plants. One broke, broke, it never grew back and then the other one grew really good. So that's looking really good. So I'm just, but it's so like puny. There's tomatoes growing on it, so I don't know. So I could cut some more little tiny branches off, right? Cause just like, it's better to have one, isn't that true? I was just afraid to cut it because I'm like, I got something. So all the side ones. These just aren't growing as fast as... I'm sure I'm not mutilating this here. You have a couple on there, right? Because you want them to grow up. I think that's what you guys said. I should cut that one up and I feel like there's only one step. If I cut this, then it's only gonna be a little bit here. So we'll let just those ones grow and see what happens. These ones are looking bright. What if I cut up these ones? Because they are kind of like the wilty ones. I'm sure it'll just keep growing. I'm gonna go all summer. It should be full and luscious, I'm thinking. Okay. And then this one's growing cute. This little pepper one is getting there, little flowers on it. Keeping them well watered, more water than before. I feel like they were not getting enough water. Definitely were in the sun too much, but now I feel like, okay, listen to your instincts, like water them more. So I did, so this is good. Let's go check out the cucumber. Come to my, this will be my cucumber corner. Come to my cucumber, cucumber corner with Amy. This one is, these are all in here. I know these are gonna be too tiny. I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm hoping they'll come out as vines. And then I'll kind of set them next to this somehow and they'll all kind of go up this. That's what my hope is. I don't know. Is this cucumbers? Oh, that's kale. Ooh, there is a little piece of green in there. There's a tiny, you guys can't see probably. There is a tiny, tiny shoot right there. Good. Okay, and the top is lettuce. So these are, these are going to be good. This one is already starting to come and hook on. I just set this right here. I thought this was good. This is already hooked on here. It's wrapping us around on there. There's a little bug. Don't go on there, bug. And then this one's already hooked on. So I'm hoping that it'll kind of go that way. And this one too. This pot, when I bought them at um, the store, like the one from Walmart came with one 
like one plan. This had four on it and I was like, okay, so I don't know. Can you keep four in here? I hope so. We'll see what it does. Again, we're learning and I know. The more room, the better. Yes, a big giant garden would be great, but not yet. I don't really know how they would do as far as like, when hurricane season comes, does that just blow everything away? Craig's like, he's like, oh, your plants, when the hurricane season come, I'm like, oh, you know, they're all gonna be inside in the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm like, we're not gonna have that happen. But these are kind of not, some, I guess they are growing again. I think it's just the water, just keeping it well watered. And this is, it's got some spotties, but there's lots of flowers. So I'm assuming eventually it's gonna start producing some uh, stuff. I kind of cut off when it gets like the dead like that. I remember having cucumbers and having them die. So I just keep cutting those off. But there is, look at that. There's a whole other one right here. I think someone said you can just kind of keep going up and down on your, your vine. Let's see, let's bring it up to the top. You know what, I was gonna take it off there, but it's already twirling up right there and right there. So I might as well let it keep going. Okay, so what I did, what I'm doing here, because I'm, you know, I'm working with what I got here. So I'm taking, it's so, it's getting heavy, obviously. Did not plan for my cucumber plant to grow amazingly, you know, amazingly a little bit. So I just zip tied it to this, put it on the outside there. There is a sprinkler hose right there, which will be nice to help water it. And then I can put my other one right here, because I would like those to go up on this. I should take the price tag off. So this way, like, this is, this is my hope is that these will just kind of grow up on it, right? If it gets too many, I could do the other side, like a couple of these, and they could come up as well. But if I set that down there, then I can move this one right next to it. So I don't know. I don't know. Might be wrong. Again, I'm, I am working with what I got. Yes, you can go out and purchase a whole thing. Yes, Greg can dig in a whole patch in our yard. We're just not there yet. Like, we, we haven't even painted our house yet. <laughs> This is like a minimal investment to do growing veggies inside of pots. So I'm going to see how that works there. I'm thinking that, I think it'll be okay there. We'll see if I have to undo it, I'll undo it. But that zip tie at least will hold it because it wants to keep falling over. So that should make it a little bit more sturdier. So we'll see, I don't know. Okay, that's good for me. So that's done. Let me see, I think our um, some of our beach stuff probably can kind of pick it up and take it inside, I'm thinking. It's gotta be dry, it's so hot outside. The melty flip-flop weather. Do not leave your flip-flops out in the sun. We lived in North Carolina and our friends came to visit one time. Their kids left their shoes outside and then they put them on. They're like, mom, my shoes don't fit. These aren't mine. And so she's like, are you sure those aren't yours? And then we realized the shoes melted. So then we said, yeah, it's called melty flip-flop weather. And I've had that happen where I took a, what I had one of my flip-flops happened in the mountains where I put one outside and the other one ended up being like in the shade somewhere. I don't know how, but one completely shrunk up and the other one did not. So, but in Florida, if you leave flip-flops out, yeah, they would definitely be melty flip-flop weather. So I wash Greg's hair. I will make sure they stay in the shade. So I'm just gonna pick this stuff up and then we'll have our bag packed if they're dry for next time.
Oh my goodness, it is now like five o'clock right now. I think I came up, I don't know if it was 2.30 or three o'clock. I came over here to start working and editing. I was gonna edit today's video, but I'm editing this weekend's video because I did not do it at all. And I'm, I just finished, I'm like, oh my goodness, that was a long video, it's about an hour long. It was like pulling clips from different sources. And so when you put them all in here, they don't like line up in order. It's great when they line up in order. Like usually I film on one camera, so all of the clips are in order. But if I'm filming on here and filming on my other camera, filming on my phone, and you bring all those in, the computer doesn't recognize like where one is at. So sometimes they're like the same number and it's just kind of a little bit more difficult to edit, but it's all good. So I am done editing. Well, Sundays, I got Sundays done. So thank goodness I did um, dinner because I'm like like thinking I'm like Greg's gonna be home from work here real soon. So I'm going to just run down just check on that and then I'm gonna just continue working. So today I guess that's good. I can do that. The kids went out, did some running around, and so I'm thinking uh, this is good. Edit, 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 edit. Monday, edit, and that's okay. It's like recovery. Greg's like, it's like the recovery weekend. You should just like lay on the the things, go swimming. We'll swim tonight. He goes and just enjoy doing nothing because it was a long weekend. So even though we were kind of just doing things at home, I feel like we were still busy, busy, and didn't really get to like just chill and do nothing. So it's good. It's a good thing. That's what you know. What life is like that, and some days are busy, some days are not. So I think I'm just going to be done here with today's video. Close it. Spaghetti. You know what spaghetti looks like, right? Yeah. Then I'm going to have the um, curry because that was so, so good with the rice noodles. I just learned from Brooklyn. She said all they do is take the rice and grind it down and turn it into pasta. Of course, because that's why it tastes like rice noodles. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's kind of getting back in the groove of things, getting life back together and, you know, just life. I'm like, it was good. It's good cleanup, getting things all set. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back tomorrow and we'll do some more stuff around the house. Okay. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.